Hi everybody, if you're new here, my name is Amy and I'm a tangerine and we are at Bach Tower Gardens today. This is a hidden gem right in the middle of the heart of Florida. It's located about 42 miles south of where the Disney theme parks is and it was created as a gift from Edward Bach who used to be the editor of Ladies Home Journal. He retired here and he donated this place as a gift to the American people. I have had a very traumatic summer. My mom got quite sick in June and things went from bad to worse. Um, so I am back in Florida to pack up my apartment and kind of deal with the fallout of all that. So we are here at Bach Tower today because it is a place of healing and peace, which is exactly what Edward Bach created it for. I can't wait to show it to you. So let's go check out Bach Tower Gardens today. You say you're getting old, getting old, but what do you know about what's to come? Cause what the future holds, future holds, nobody knows till the race is all won. So if you're wondering what's the point, what's the point of anything at all? It's to live your life, live your life, live it right now, cause you only get one. Before the dawn, it's always dark. Before the light, there is a tunnel. Before you run, you gotta stumble. Time. Wait, he's letting me get super close to him. Food over fear. Food over fear. You are my person. You are my person. Even from the parking, you can hear the bells. All right, you can get this. Welcome to Bach Tower Gardens Visitors Map and Guide. And this was founded by Edward Bach in 1929. This is a 70-acre facility, very large. And what I thought was very interesting about this too is it was established in 1929 by Edward Bach as a gift to the American people. And then also it was dedicated by President Calvin Coolidge on February 1st, 1929 as a National Historic Landmark. So we are gonna check all of this out today. Admission to Bach Tower is $20 per adult, and then you can pay $10 extra to go visit the mansion that is on the grounds here. And we are starting out right at the front here. We're gonna check out the museum first. You can go this way to head back into the gardens. We're gonna do the museum. And that is right to the left here. Giant crocodile. My son keeps trying to get me to go to Gatorland, and I just will not, I won't do it. I know. 
I've never acclimated to the whole alligator Florida situation. Not today, Satan. Here is the visitor center and museum. Here is where you can get a guide map and they can help you out. Kind of give you the lay of the land if you have any questions. And there are some exhibits in here that are pretty fantastic. And there's also a restroom over there. I like this quote on him. Either make its people better or happier or make the face of the world fairer to look at. Definitely did that. Tower gardens were conceived not as a memorial or as a monument. Both were erected and laid out solely and singly to express the gospel of beauty to open our eyes and awaken our senses to the beautiful. President Coolidge traveled from Washington, D.C. on a special train to speak at the dedication ceremony. 75,000 people attempted to attend the ceremony. Local gas stations ran out of gas and grocery stores were bare food. Florida had never seen an event like this before. They have this really cool interactive exhibit in here about the singing tower that we're gonna see later. It's stunning in person, y'all. But this is really cool. You can touch on this and it shows you all the different things inside the tower and outside the tower and explore the inside of the tower. Let's see, check out the founder's room. This is the bottom place that we're not allowed into. Uh, let's look at the bell chamber. Really cool to see this. These are the bells that we heard from the parking lot and we'll really hear them quite well. Generosity, tranquility, beauty, and inspiration. Really beautiful in here. I don't know how to pronounce this, but Caroline? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that is what is inside the tower that makes all the music. It has 60 bells, and there's all kinds of music that can play. And there's all kinds of facts and information in this museum area that gives you more of a background on Bach Tower and the gardens. I really like this quote that they have up here. The first time I came here, this really struck a chord with me. I come here to find myself. It is so easy to get lost in the world. And then they have this really beautiful view of some of the gardens from there. All kinds of exhibits on here on nature and animals that are in the area. Right outside of the museum here, there is a cafe across the way and there's also a gift shop. We will check out the gift shop and the cafe later but this is like the beginning area. Really good signage to show you which way to go. This way to the singing tower and to the gardens. Pets are allowed here for an extra admission. So you see a lot of dogs here, which is really cool. Here's an overall map. This is the visitor center where we just were. This is where we are. And look, we got all this area to explore. All of this is what we're gonna do. Head to the right for the children's section, or you can swing to the left here for the singing tower and the mansion that we're going to go visit. Here is my son today. He is taking lots of pictures. It is just absolutely, we couldn't ask for a better day. The last time we were here, it was like over 100 degrees. It's about 70 degrees today. It's, it's perfect. Honestly, couldn't ask for a better day. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. It's hard to believe we're in the heart of Florida here. So beautiful. All right, and through the gates here is where the mansion part is at. This is an extra ticketed uh, place. You can go back here, you just can't tour the inside of the mansion without an extra ticket. Still come back here even if you have not bought the tour because the grounds are incredible and we'll show you that. You get sort of a glimpse from the singing tower from down here and the grounds of this mansion are just absolutely stunning. And here is the mansion apart. We are gonna to tour the inside last. We're gonna go check out the grounds first. Here's where you go inside and show your ticket. But I'm gonna show you guys something really special that was really important to me the last time I came in here. Through this gate here to the right. There's a little pathway. And then there's a really cool statue. Isn't that beautiful? you go and continue to go down to go to the backyard 
and tour the outside. There are bathrooms back here as well, and here is the outside of the mansion here. And it is also wheelchair accessible if you have a disability. There are ways to get into the mansion. I just realized, you can see that statue through the window, the doorway. Very powerful. Down out here is the expansive, just met a really nice couple here that just went down there and they were talking about how great it is down there. It really is. It seems like quite a far walk, but it's so worth it to go down here. There's a pond with turtles and we're going to go check that out. And this was your backyard. Just, you know, this is my backyard. This is where I live now. FYI, I'm moving out of my apartment into here, just so you know. It's one of the little sun porches that they have. Not a lot that you can see from the outside. You do need to do the tour to actually see the mansion really well. I really like the architecture and the stonework here and the little windows throughout and the lights. There's another sun porch down there. Places where you can sit and relax and just enjoy the beauty of this place. As you can see, it's a Sunday. There's not a lot of people here today. So we're quite lucky. Where the tower is, it gets a little bit busier, but still nothing like the theme parks. Like, look, look, look what you get. It's a true place of healing. I really did not even want to come here today, if I was being honest, because I don't know if you've ever been through something really traumatic. It takes you a while to kind of, I don't know, get out of that funk. You really have to pull yourself up every day. And so I think it's really important if you're going through post-traumatic stress or you've just been through something to get outside, touch the grass, uh, see the birds, listen to the music, hear life. It's very important. I'm not needed to be at a theme park right now. I'm needed to be here. I hope that if you ever go through something terrible that you get a chance to visit a place like this. It is incredibly healing to be here and I'm so grateful to Edward Bach for creating this place and donating it to the people of America. It's, it's... <sighs> we are... Okay, so look at this large backyard that we have and then you're swinging this way lots of kids playing on the grass and they're just looking back up at the mansion there we are destination pond and turtles there were some there's fantastic turtles in this pond i fell in love with one of them i don't know what is my thing with turtles but uh, i fell in love with them i want to see if he's still here we're just looking back at the mansion and you can actually see the singing tower from down here too i saw the turtle <gasps> yeah, there he is. I see him. Kinds of little tadpoles in here swimming. Alex, you want to go swimming? This water. No? Dip my toe in. And it is a snapping turtle. There's also another turtle in here. That's my turtle buddy. This is the snapping turtle. Oh look, <laughs> he's sticking his head out. Paparazzi! How stunning this is, and you can hear the bells from the tower. <sighs> I love sitting on this bench here and just relaxing and enjoying the peace and quiet. There he is. This is the really friendly one. Look, he's coming. He's headed our way. Oh, you being shy today? I don't blame you. Right, here he comes. Hi, buddy. How are you? I miss you. How are you? I just saw a fish go by. Living your best turtle life at Bach Tower Gardens. <laughs> Was it, did you fart? 
I think I, think I, I, think I caught him farting on camera, y'all. He's truly, we're compadres. When you can fart around someone, then you know that you're friends, okay? Besties. Besties! As you can see, quite quiet back here, except for the loud tangerine speaking. I can hear birds chirping, Alex. We are now in the front of the mansion, about ready to take the tour, but I wanted to show you something that is really special that I really liked last time I hear. Right behind here is something really, really beautiful. This little garden area that, I don't know, is just so calming and beautiful to me. I wish I could bottle up this scent. It almost reminds me of Soren a little bit. Very sweet, very earthy smell. I'm inhaling. Pardon me for a moment while I inhale. It's so good. It's so good back here. This is a must do, this part. Are attached to the walls are all original. They were put in in 1930 when the house was built, and they're still working today. Upstairs, there's five main bedrooms, and all the fixtures in there are also original. But she came and helped her dad run the house. So you know, that's another little tidbit you'll hear throughout the house. The house is original as to what it was in the 1930-32. There is the main bathroom, and then this way to the kitchen, which starts the tour be able to serve up the plates to be brought into the dining room there. Um, the cabinetry in here is all original to the house and these dishes that you see in here are also original to the house. Now when we as in Bach Tower started serving dinner parties here, we had occasional dinner parties and we discovered that these dishes could not be used because it was lead based paint. Stairway, could, and then there is an elevator the here. You could turn going the up to the main doors. Butler's pantry. Is all of and this is the, the original sink. These cabinets just really Cool is that? That is the fridge, y'all. Wow. Look at this is the pantry area. Here's the inner um, system. The area that we're in is the servants' parts. The help. So, a little less elaborate than we're going to see upstairs. Um, even as an overnight guest or even coming from Mountain Lake, you would have a full dress dinner party and it would go on for two or three hours at a time. Only adults were invited to the dinner parties. Children would have eaten earlier and they probably would have eaten out there in the patio. Um, they also served breakfast and lunch buffets out there on the patio so they could be open and allow the fresh air to come in and the beautiful views of, of both sides of the garden. They would have come in if they had walked on over. Wow. And that is Mr. Buck's office. He was mm -hmm. here maybe four to six weeks out of the year and he had an office and it had all the modern conveniences, the formal part of the home. He would have spent right the afternoon oh, here. Painting. And those are pocket doors. The doors open up on either side, east and west. And on the one side, we have a pretty little garden. And on the other side, we have the grand um, English garden with children rolling down the hill. <laughs> the music room. Wow, this is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are original floors. Look at that. I saw the old floor. 
Christmas tree in here. Yeah, so yeah, let's see our pressure changes. They would make it tighten or loosen to keep the walls straight. And the chandelier in here, Lucy Buck bought one here. She was driving down here to Boston and she stopped in a little gift shop and she said, you know, that chandelier would sure look nice in our music room, wouldn't it, Daddy? Let's take it with us. And so they did. 1930, and gave it to a legislator who took it up to Washington, D.C. for about 12 years. And when he left office, he brought it back here. Oh. Now, let me tell you, Mr. Buck was a little older by the time he built this home. And he'd get tired as the party would go on later at night, <laughs> people dancing and the music. So he put in his own little private back stairway. And he can go up that stairway to his bedroom and be gone for the night. My kind of guy. Mm-hmm. And if I leave someone like you in charge and you keep <laughs> going. Okay, we're going upstairs. She said there are five bedrooms and five bedrooms up here. Wow. Incredible. Mr. Buck's bedroom. Off limits to his children and grandchildren. And that's his wife who passed away very suddenly in 1925. Ashwa, so, look at this bathroom. This is his bathroom. Look at the tile work on this. Wow. Get a tub. Wow. Bedroom. I like how the floor creaks. Oh, this is incredible. I want to spend the night. Look at that view from the window there. You can see the trees. Oh my goodness, this is the hallway to go to the rooms. Incredible detail on the doors. The next bedroom. Here's bedroom number four. Here is the bathroom area. I like the yellow. The yellow. I do like that shower. Look at the tile work on it. Wow, this is very cool. bedroom in here. Oh, look at these closets. Get out of here. Wow. This would be my room. This would be the room that I want. Look how cozy this is. Okay, I want the desk or the, the office downstairs and then this room is my bedroom. This is my dream bedroom here. Okay, here is the staff hall and then there is that elevator that we saw from the kitchen area down there. There's intercom. Look at this. This is Lucy. Was Mr. Buck's youngest daughter. Her mother passed in 1825. Oh, wow. Oh, her room is absolutely divine. Wow. Okay, we're headed back downstairs. And this is the end of the tour. Wow. Just beautiful. All right, we just got out of the tour. That was so cool. I didn't want to film a lot because I, you know, people don't want to be on video, but just amazing. I highly recommend doing this part, even though it's $10 more per person. So worth it. Um, the upstairs, they didn't have a volunteer upstairs. So we could just wander and look at all the rooms. Just absolutely incredible, incredible. Really love this part. It's like a secret garden trail back here. It smells like Soren. It smells like Soren, like the Fiji part. What? Oh, like there's a place where you can sit.
Here is the window by the pond. This is amazing, you all. I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready. Told you you weren't ready. Back it up, back it up. It's like a photo, it's like a, a painting. And then they have like the dirt floors and the, where you can sit in here and just enjoy the view. This is probably one of my favorite parts, this right here. We've been here about three hours. We're gonna grab a lunch from the cafe here and let you know what it's like. I got a roast beef sandwich. We got chicken nuggets. We are eating, oh, it comes with chips. Um, we are eating inside, and that was his vote. This child's vote. I would rather eat outside, but I'm just glad that he is here with me. So let's enjoy this great meal. Oh my God, y'all. This is like one of the best sandwiches I've ever had in my life, and I am not even kidding you. It's so good. Chef's kiss. All right, lunch was absolutely incredible. We are going to check out the gift shop next. We have some merch specific to Back Tower. Its own tea. All kinds of souvenirs. Very large gift shop in here. They've got books. They've got all kinds of things in here. Actually got me this for my birthday the last time we were here because I'm a tangerine. And I use it to hold my glasses. But they've got purses and stuff and notebooks as well. And then they have books um, at Orbach if you are interested in him. Here is the children's section. They have a huge children's area. It's so fun. Your kids would love it. Cool stonework on the ground here. Heart's fun. The sandbox looks like a giant snake. I would love to be a kid again just to come here. Right, Al? Like, I think this would be every kid's dream. This whole section back here. It's amazing. This is the river walk area. You walk through here and water will soak you. There it goes. I lucked out. Should go play a lotto, huh? What was that? It wasn't that I lucked out. What happened? He pushed the button. <laughs> Y'all, your girl ain't blonde for nothing, okay? All right. Let's get that clarified. In the children's garden area, these are all the activities. There's 17 different areas that your kids can explore. A kid's dream right here. So much. Fox den, frog hop, backyard ramble, spider climb. It's, it's amazing. I found the giant spider web. Like literally, where was this when I was a kid? Where was this? have this. This is a lot of fun. Oh, someone's making uh, stone cupcakes. Wonder if they're any good. You can't leave them out like that. You know, otherwise. So, this is really cool. Oh, fun! Kids can draw and put their wonderful creations up here on the wall for everybody to admire. Do they know to get my photo here? A word rock garden where you can make your own scene. Okay, we saved the best for last. We are headed towards the tower. Right here it is. Just absolutely stunning in person. The the camera cannot do it justice the magnitude of it. You'll see it when we get a little bit closer to. And Edward Bach is buried at the base of this tower. Can't go in it, but you can, you know, walk all around it. There's reflecting ponds and everything, and I'll show you where his grave is at. Y'all, look where we're standing. Look. 
the size of this thing. Right there is where his grave is at. Right there, buried right at the base of his beloved tower. Funny. <laughs> <That> <laughs> he popped up. I'll take that. He's like, thank you. This turtle is like <laughs> cracking me up. Nowhere. You're going nowhere. These two are hilarious. Ooh. Oh, I think the turtle's gonna go. Someone saw that he's guarding the turtle. He seems very intense. Oh, there he went. Oh, he's coming over here. See? I don't know. I have this thing with turtles lately. It's weird. He's coming to see us. He's coming to say hi. <laughs> hi, buddy. The turtle buddy. Oh. Oh, he's coming over to Alex. Look. They're buddies. Oh. Did you make a friend? Oh, Isn't he cute? Oh. Here is the back of the tower. They do have a sundial on there. And then behind here, it's just beautiful as far as the eye can see back here sit on a bench or just under the tree and just enjoy the beauty of Florida like it's not all theme parks it's there's so much more to Florida you just gotta know where to go all right we have been here about four hours at this point you can really spend a lot of time here this is looking back at the tower kind of waiting for the music to start I filmed it last time and it went on for like 16 minutes the music and there are the chimes. That'll do it for today's video. I so needed to come here today. Bach Tower is such a peaceful and healing place and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that someday you get to come here because seeing it in person is just such an experience. Uh, as far as this channel goes, probably the next video I do will be I'll be going to the Christmas party at Magic Kingdom but I'm taking this time to regroup and we will reconvene once I move to another state and the adventures will continue wherever I end up. So thank you so much for joining me and until we meet again, my friends, bye. And it's been fun. Let's do Bach Tower again.